Hi! This is just gonna be a really quick video on how to wall run. I have a keyboard overlay now, so now it looks like you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, and the reason I'm doing a tutorial on how to wall run, even though it's such an easy technique, is because I'm very, very shortly after this, within a day or so, I'm gonna try to put up a how to infinite wall bounce tutorial. So you can, and then I can link it to this one and this one to that one. So it's just like a ecosystem of videos. So I get more views. Um, so, without further ado, uh, let's start wall running. To wall run, all you're going to need to do is to run into a wall or a slide jump. Slide jumping is easier, but running is also possible. You're going to want to slide jump into a wall, let go of W, hold the direction you want to go, and look a little bit to the opposite direction of the direction you're going. So when you combine that all together, it looks something like this. Where you'll glide along the wall for about two seconds or so, and then it'll let you off. Because fatigue or some weird shit. You just have to remember to let go of W right before you hit the wall. And you want to make sure you're a little bit high above the ground. You don't want to be too low, or else it'll be weird and not work. Wall running does not seem that powerful on its own, but when combined with a lot of other good movement technique, like fatigue jumping and infinite wall bouncing, it is super useful to just, it gets you better wall jumps, better everything. And also it's pretty useful for getting above gaps and stuff like that, areas that you normally would just not be able to get across. And that's about it. It's a short video. I will be making a video soon on infinite wall bouncing and or fatigue jumping. Very similar things, but I might make separate videos. I'll decide it later. So it would be great if you could like and subscribe, and see y'all later. Bye!